what's up YouTube, as you can tell, I've got my trailer behind my Civic, but I still got nowhere to hook the wiring. Pretty much every vehicle you run into, you're going to have separate bulbs for your tail lights, your brake lights, and your turn signal. And even if it's the same bulb, there's going to be two filaments, two different wires to it. Almost every trailer you're going to run into is going to be a two wire setup. One for the turn signal, one takes care of the brake light and the tail light. So, you need a three wire to two wire converter. They sell powered and unpowered. Small trailer, not many lights, or if you just have all LED lights on the trailer, you're not going to have much draw on the system and you should be fine getting unpowered. I got the powered because I have a distribution block right back here for my amp, so I don't have to run a wire all the way to the front, which is the only real pain in the ass about running the powered setup. Um, the beginning of this video is going to be specific on how to access it in a 10th generation Civic, but from there on, you'll see how to test the wiring and figure out what you need to tap into and how to wire it up. So let's get started. Alright, so the first step to make it easy, get rid of this uh, spare tire carpet cover. You could probably work around it, but it's pretty simple to get out of the way. Pop most of these down. You could probably get the clip out with flathead screwdrivers, but this makes it a lot easier. And you can buy a whole set for like 11 bucks. Well, I just got past the uh, baby monitor for the four-year-old and the wife left, so I'm sure this is going to go a lot smoother now. Alright, so anyways, like I said, you could probably get by with a flathead screwdriver. Two would make it a little easier. This will make it the easiest. There's one clip up here in the back. Just the one clip right there, and then it velcroed on. To get this piece, you actually just grab underneath it and go straight up with it. Until the weather's dripping, just makes it a little easier mainly when you put it back. So now, to get these panels off, there's one, two, three clips that are this style. And then there's one that's closer to the style that was on that carpet. And then there's an entirely different style there as well. But these ones, when they're closed, they're like this. open, they look like that, then you can grab this piece and pop it out, because what it does is when the top part pushes down in, it keeps that piece flared out. And this is actually about my favorite style of clip wanted to use, they're so easy, they just come right out, and we'll get this other one, and it works if you got the kit too, sometimes these ones are hard to get out, and this is a pretty flimsy tool, so if you get that under it, just enough you can jam a more rigid one under it and pry it the rest of the way. Here's what I'm talking about. You can get the tool behind it, but see the tool's not really, plus nothing's back there to pry off of until you get pretty far back. The tool's not really rigid enough. So you can get the tool behind it, get a little bit of room, put something beefier behind it, and get it out that way. The last clip that's on both sides is right here. I forget if this one comes out easy or not. Yeah, pretty easy. And I almost forgot, inside the car, right here, there's another clip. Fish these out. And you pretty much just grab the bottom, rotate it, bring the bottom of it inside and up, and it'll make it clear up at the front. So, the irritating part of the 10th generation Civic would be, in all my other Hondas, this will give you access to taillight wiring as well. On this Civic, you're going to have to pull the interior panels to run the wire and pull the taillights to do the wire ring. So you need an 8mm socket or a Phillips screwdriver. I would normally opt for the 8mm, but uh, I can't find it. At 
least to break them loose. Then I'd use the Phillips. All right, so usually when you open up the converter, you're gonna notice, obviously, that goes to the trailer. So ignore that for now. I have all the wires coming out. You have a short bundle, one long wire. You only need to get the tail lights and the stop lights from one side, and then the other one will be the turn signal on that side. The long one runs to the other side of the vehicle for that turn signal. And on the Civic, after you take these two out, I know there's one right here that pops out that way. I forget if there's another one, but I'll have to figure it out. So I got that one. So you can see those two gray holes and those two white little nipples right there pop in the gray holes. That squiggly line is AC. Down here, if you can see right on my finger, that's DC. Or if we're looking for 12 volts, so we'll go to 20. The closest one above what you're shooting for, make sure you don't have anything like hold on. Now if you had a test light, you would just be watching it blink. But, since you're watching a multimeter, if you can see those numbers, watch how they jump around. And so you need to see what wire that corresponds with, which in this case, it's that connection, which comes back, and it's the yellowish peach wire. So on the driver's side, we actually need the brake signal, the tail light signal and the left turn signal. So for the left turn first. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be the gray wire and not the black. This is where a test light works better because with the test light you have an alligator clip it's for the ground and you don't have to hold it. Now we'll go for the tail light. Not the black wire. Now this is the reverse, so obviously that will leave this for the brake. And yet again, it is a black wire and not black. So I'm just going to take it that it's a common theme: black is ground because everything has a black. Now, if you are not sure how somebody hit the brake, you do the same thing and test it. I don't have anybody out here right now, so I'm just going to take it that the black is ground. I'll go to the notch ground. Now most of the time this wiring is accessible from inside. It makes it nice because now you're going to get a wire to this tail light. There is a grommet right there. You can drill through and come through but try to keep the weatherproofness of it. I'm going to attempt to fish through here. Alright so I swapped from these blue connectors to the red because if you can see that slot is too big for those wires it didn't even cut in it just kind of dimpled them got a picture of my phone so you can really see what I'm talking about it would not have made a connection line the two tabs back up right there and pop them in I recommend always starting everything by hand it's easy to strip something if you just go straight at it with the impact Alright, so that's all the extra wire I had after getting all the way in there to those tail lights. So I'm going to mount it right up under here, which gives this a nice route to come down under the carpet, come out over. My ground will reach. And then I'll take care of running the other turn signal wire to the other side. Hard to tell, this isn't focused very good close up. If you ever want to pull these out, you can obviously see the big forked part is what pops in and catches, but the part you see above it, when you pull it out, you can see that piece, and you can take a little pick or a blade and push it in. If I had three hands, I could show you. So I'll just show you what you would be able to grab. You probably can't even see it. So I'll show a picture. 
with my phone again to point out what you can push and get these out. All right, so of course, as far away as I had to mount the converter, they didn't give enough wire. So, I mean, this is a Civic. This is not a big car. Taillights aren't that far apart. So the fact that there's not enough wire to reach over there after I reached over there is pretty stupid. But at least it's an easy problem to solve. So there we go. I'll dig into my never ending supply of zip ties. All right, so just to reduce the chance of scratching the taillight or the car. All right, to run the wire, untape this. A lot of times you just have access to the wiring of the taillight from inside, but on these new Civics, you got to come through that grommet. And then you just retape this right here. And I like running wires through the factory. Grommet and stuff as often as I can. Cut the wire to length, which obviously you're going to need to go just past middle tab. So I'll run mine right there. Once you squeeze that middle tab down, this is what locks it closed so it can't come undone. You gotta make sure you hear click twice so it grabs the bottom part. Just because I never have access to this area. I'm in it. And I just wipe it down with a damp rag just because. So then plug everything back in. And that harness piece. Okay. Line the two tabs back up. Pop it in. And then you do actually have a little bit of play. I'm watching this line right here, I'm trying to keep it the same when I tighten it. All right, so I can only imagine uh, the the kit they sell with the power wire and the fuse holder probably comes with a long enough wire reach up front. Well, I didn't buy that, and uh, my power wire is not going to reach. My distribution box is right there. Power wire is right here, so I don't need to add much. All right, so I got this one added to my distribution block right here. Comes out. I'm going to tuck it up, hide it out of the way up here, and then once it reaches my wire to the converter, Cut it, splice it, and uh, we should be good to go. Now I gotta vacuum out all the little wire insulation pieces and tape and everything. So when you're putting the panel in, just make sure this flap goes here, down behind the seats. <clears throat> So what I was talking about in here, you gotta make sure this flap ends up down in here, 
as well as this piece has to be on the inside of the car and then as you're shoving it over you want to put the panel behind this plastic and the reason you pulled the weather stripping is because it actually hides this edge and it's a kind of a pain in the ass to shove this under it while you're trying to line the clips up so if you just do it after push it on simple and then when you get down here on this corner it does take a little bit of work because you need this shove there's a lip that'll get caught on the bumper like that so you need to push that in and if you do the corner first then go over here and do the other corner get the corners out of the way Then you can tip the piece back, get that lip in there first, and then work it across the bottom. And even if it is kind of catching, it usually just take care of itself as you push it in. Like you might get to a spot where you gotta take care of it yourself. But you see this slot right below the latch. That is for that little tab. Those don't do anything, but that tab goes in that. I actually missed my first time, so when you're done popping it down, you can reach and see and make sure that you can't peel the bottom of that tab. You also should not be able to pull that out any. If you can, you didn't get that tab. Then the last piece of the puzzle, there's one clip right there. just velcro and tuck it down there you go it's like nothing ever happened if you need a toe you lift that find your wire pull it out let's see if it's all hooked up right Almost like I've done that before. Seems like everything I buy does not have a tow package or anything ever. So I had to wire that. I wired that. I wired the CRV. I wired the Accord. I wired my truck before that. Maybe someday I'll buy something that just has the damn tow package right on it. No effort.